right, here we are with part two. Yeah, I shut my mouth at the end of part one because, yeah, I wanted to catch the conversation between uh, my friend and random guy she met waiting in line to take a picture with Christopher Lloyd. So, <laughs> small world, I guess. You know, even in a place as big as this with all these people, you run into some people you've seen before, apparently. Black Cherry, we know where it's at, huh? Yeah. <laughs> She's talking root beer there. Iron Man. Uh oh, got yeah, Indiana Jones here. Mostly movies, musicians, a few sports guys. Um, yeah, you can see him. Quite a few Mel Gibson. I think there's a Braveheart one. Boom. <laughs> Speak the devil. Uh, oh, yeah, the guy, that Happy Gilmore one. This was the day after, um, oh gosh, Curtis Weathers, is that his name? Uh, I gotta look that up now. I think that's his name, but you know what I'm talking about. the. Uh, the uh, happy golf coach. This was the day after he died in real life. Uh, I wonder if they jacked that price up. <laughs> uh, got an astronaut there, apparently. Lee Majors. There you go. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch. There's a bunch. <laughs> I made a few jokes to my friend about taking that home. But Nah, if there was one, nah, that's the one. I do love me some Val Kilmer. I do love some Val Kilmer. It was sad to see him in Top Gun 2, really. I I don't think he was acting. I think that's that's how it was. I'm glad I'm glad they got him in the movie. Nah, she's talking on the phone. Her, her friend's trying to get here. She doesn't know how or something. Doesn't know where to park. That's what it was. Yeah, it was, man, it was tough. It was tough seeing Val in that bad shape. You just look at how young and spry he was in Top Gun 1, and then time just, just beats you down. It just beats you down. But I am glad that he got a cameo appearance in there. I think this is where I got them before. Maybe I found them already. Oh. So she's, she's talking about these mystery boxes. So my friend loves... She loves these mystery boxes where you don't know what you're buying. They're like 50 bucks each or something, and they, they got a theme, so like you can see them here. In fact, I was tempted to get a couple of them myself. Uh, here's a bunch of them. Fallout, like I wonder what's in that. <laughs> G.I. Joe. So Hellfire Club, yeah, I was tempted to get one of those. But you don't know what's in there. I mean, it's trinkets and things. It's She got a Jurassic Park one, and... Uh, yeah, there's Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'm actually watching that game right now. <laughs> but it's like a mug, you know, and it's, I don't know. She got a uh, fake mosquito and fake amber, you know, stuff like that. 50 bucks is a little steep for me to be buying a bunch of stuff that you probably don't need. <laughs> uh, got some swords here if you guys need some swords. <laughs> Back to that uh, vanilla and black cherry comment. So a big thing here is like there's these root beer bars. It's like uh, you, you buy the cup, you know, and she's holding it there in her right hand. Um, and then it's free refills all, all you know, all show all four days if you come here all four days. I think that, I think that lady in pink looked at me and smiled, man. I need to go back and watch it frame by frame to find out for sure, but I think she did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, um, yeah, so they got all different flavors of root beers. Um, they, uh, you know, I go for the uh, I go for the real beer. I kind of pass up the root beer, but you know, that's just my personal preference. Uh, yeah, here we got uh, some serious droids from Star Wars. Obviously, these things move. Do 
things. <laughs> About to get in somebody's picture here, I think. Oh, whoops. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know who makes these things, but they're pretty legit. I mean, some of these are just custom jobs, right? Like, I've, I watch Star Wars. Look at that. It's got a moving optic. Uh, but some of these color schemes, I mean, these aren't in the movie, are they? Nope. Picture of the picture. <laughs> I mean, that one. I mean, it's blue and gold. That's not in the movie, is it? I don't remember that. And this one, it's certainly not with the top hat on. The planter's nut top hat. The black one. I don't know. Yeah, I think these are just like custom made jobs. Maybe I just don't watch it on Star Wars. There was a whole Star Wars uh, land, I guess I'll call it. <laughs> just like at uh, Disney. I think I walked through it later. Can't remember if I filmed that or not. That was those two stormtroopers standing there. I think that was kind of the entrance or part of it or something. The other thing Megacon is known for, apparently, is their footage. <laughs> so, these guys, I remember these from two years ago. Uh, just this fudge they got. And, uh, it's pretty crazy. It looks really good. They got all different kinds. They got, like, fudge based off of candy bars. And then they just got your typical flavors. I and mean, you saw them all there. They probably had 40 different kinds of fudge there. And my friend, uh, she goes for the fudge, yeah. So we got some, she got some fudge. I... I always wonder if. I don't know if there's girls are doing standing up there. Yeah, I, I I don't know how people feel about the camera. So they got, in fact, I think it's my very last video. They got big signs up that say, "Cosplay is not consent." It's like, if you want to take a picture of someone, you know, ask kindly. I'm just like walking around open camera, you know. I wonder if... There, there's a Predator guy. So we got a thing on his shoulder. Look at it. It's moving. It is shining lights, too. That thing was cool. I think that might have been the best one I saw. We guys got breakdancing over here. <laughs> oh, what video am I on? Oh, three more to go. I'm going faster. Oh, I forgot I was going to look up that voice actor's name. This was uh, right around the time when I went to the fact I was walking out to see him, I think. So this is kind of like the front hallway, I'll call it. Um, obviously a lot of people out here too, but not quite as crowded as inside. I need three monitors. You know, I, I love multi monitors. It's just. That guy. <laughs> Look at that. He looked right at me. I don't think he was very happy. I was shoving a camera in his face, but. To be fair, he shoved his face in my camera. I did not go searching for his face. <laughs> he, he did not look pleased. He turned around and saw a GoPro right in, his, right in front of his dome, but. I don't know, he didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah, these guys are playing some card game I've never heard of, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, you can see it though. All kinds of people show up for this thing. It is cool. It is very cool. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, there's some other uh, some other celebrities. William Shatner was here. He would have been one I probably would have liked to get a picture with. Yeah, that was the other thing I bought. I bought a uh, just a koozie that said "Make it so," and they had a picture of the Enterprise on it. <laughs> it was the wrong Enterprise, though. It was Enterprise from the very first Star Trek, and "Make it so" is what Captain Picard said. In Next Generation. I don't think Captain Kirk ever said that. So I put the wrong Enterprise on there, and then charged me five dollars for the privilege. Um, and I'm sure it was totally not licensed. Either. You know, whatever. Uh, I mentioned before, I'm I'm more of a Star Trek guy than a Star Wars guy. I like them both. Oh, that guy got a COVID shirt on. 
That's a Durant. Durant's never been 24. I don't know what that's about. Wow, kind of breaking the crowd here. Should have uh, had some jumping jacks or something while I had the space. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you know, I was trying to think where my friend was. Yeah, so I had gone to that class, and I come back from that class at this point. Yeah, I'm going to look that guy's name up. I'll mention it in the third part. And she actually had a friend come here, and then her friend left. I never met her friend. She came here and left, apparently, before we met up again. Um, yeah, we kind of went our separate ways for this one.